Hello there, everyone, and welcome back to Victoria 2. I'm your host, Mr. Mokalover. And right now, we're looking at, basically, I defeated Germany. Now, this is my third attempt doing this. So, you know how we started the war last time in the last episode? And I kind of just waited around for them to attack us. I did the exact opposite. I actually attacked their divisions first. They had, like, medium morale, so then I just, like, death-stacked a bunch of armies and kept running around enemies, or around the Germans, really, as they were slowly spreading into Russia. Thank God Russia is here to take a massive baiting against the Germans. But as we also saw in the last video, Germany, or not Germany, but Russia and Austria were killing each other, and I'm not sure what happened in that war. Um, Serbia's gone. Uh, well, I guess Serbia's dead. That is actually very large Austria-Hungary. But anyways, so then these guys pieced out, and I was still just trying to kill off as many armies as possible from Germany. And you can see, like, their armies are still here. Actually, for HPM, there's a little bit of a bug in the game. If you let the game go on too long, and the AI kind of just stops working, at least the enemy AI, so then that's why there, there's like, there's 200,000 soldiers in Cleves, or Cloves, Cleves, but there's like 200,000 soldiers, there's 135,000 there, 100 some thousand there, so eventually the AI just bugs out and stops moving, which is great, but uh, so yeah, so first of all, I attacked the Germans, they spread into Russia, Russia pieced out with Austria-Hungary, and then I called Austria, no, and then I called Poland in, we were actually allied with the Polish, I forgot about that, called them in, so they got involved. Then I called in the Austro-Hungarians after their war with Russia was done as well. So that's how come Austro-Hungary is here. And apparently Jap Japan finally actually moved through Russia. They went through the entire Russian nation. You, you, you can literally see them here. They're moving over towards here. Well, at least these guys are. These guys, I'm not sure what they're doing. But they literally came all the way over here to the German Empire and helped siege, siege them down. Then, then again, once Austro-Hungary came and joined the war against Germany, I guess we also went to war with Italy too, so... And I forgot Spain was still allied with us, but this is my third attempt, and I do not recommend this. Like, I, we started this war already mobilized. A lot of my guys are just, like, dead. And we're bank we're, we're not bankrupt, but we got a lot of debt. Not a ton of debt, but quite a bit of debt. So, and I think we, we're so far into debt that we actually lost the benefits of, like, fully educating the people. Fully, what is it? Oh, laws change. Oh, we can also do meetings allowed now and censor press, but... Like, we're in a state of emergency, which is not great. Demands of war, which is not great. Uh, women's suffrage, which is... Sure. And then, freedom of religion. But, like, this has been extremely costly. Like, I do not recommend anyone playing this in the Netherlands to take out Germany. At least by themselves. And we didn't do it by ourselves, but... oh, You know, even if we don't get the Rhineland, the most important thing to do is to dismantle Germany. Now, I wanted the Rhineland. We'll go back to war with Germany later on. But we'll build a little bigger. We'll have more territory. I'm going to take out more of maybe France and just other nations so we can build up an even bigger army. The most important thing to do is just to break up Germany as much as possible. So, we can't take everything, but at this point, I, I, I don't care. Like, it, it, we got to end the war. We have to end the war. Oh my god, this was a horrendous war. It just, it's so bad. Oh my god. Like, I spent like probably an hour at least off screen after the end of last episode trying this out. Uh, we can, let's see, which immigrant attraction suppression points. Political awareness, censor press. Oh, I'll give them meetings a lot. That's fine. I don't really care. And we'll give a couple comments to go through as well, but oh my goodness. Uh, let's go and demobilize. I, I never mobilize. I never mobilize, but we had to this time, so. All right, let's take a look at our armies. Uh, where are our armies? This is, wow. I, I really wish. That's one of the things I would love to see in Vicky 3, an actual casualty tracker, because I lost at least a million men in this, in this war at, alone. At least a million, because... Like, there's so many guys that lost their lives in this war. Was it worth it? Probably not. But dismantling the German Empire is probably actually really, really worth it, just because Germany is so incredibly strong. So then we'll go back into Germany later on, take them out. But really, for the rest of this campaign, my goals are to cut down infamy, take the colonies if Germany has any, as well as... Wow, that's just by itself. Holy crap. Um, I don't know. Just take out the UK. Because the UK, they refuse to join us in the war, which, you know, didn't make me very happy. But look, we're the most prestigious nation in the world now. That's very nice. And they're ranked 30th. So, not bad. Oman better pay its debt from here on out. Hopefully, wow, we're losing. That's a lot of money to lose. Um, 25%. Let's go up to 50% for now. Whoa. All right, let's lower that maybe a little bit as well. Spending, lower that as well. We need to get some money because we don't want... Oh, baby, that's not good. We lost 11,000 in a single day. Holy crud. Oh, mama. And there we go. We got excellent healthcare back. That's good. Uh, raise taxes just a little bit, maybe. Oh, Eupen Milady goes to the Netherlands. The last great war ended, and the German Empire was dismantled. As a punitive measure, the province of Eupen Milady Malmedy is being ceded to us. We treat Berlin. Uh, with the war finished, the Dutch people have taken to the streets of Amsterdam in celebration. The toll of the war has been heavy, but today Netherlands is simply happy to be at peace. Nice. Very good. Very good. 
Oh, we have a decision here. Call for the Tangier Protocol. The Tangier Protocol, formerly known as a convention regarding the organization of the statute of the Tangier Zone, is a diplomatic proposal over the fate of the Sultanate of Morocco and Tangier. The proposal is to create a 373 square kilometer international zone centered on the city of Tangier, North Africa, under the joint administration of the signatory countries, with the Sultan of Morocco retaining sovereignty over the zone and jurisdiction over the native population. Tangier is to be made a neutral demilitarized zone to solve disagreements between the great powers on who should control it. Very cool. Will this infamy? Oh, you know what? Mm, I will do it anyways, even though we would like to get to, like, take an infamy hit first, but it's fine, whatever. Uh, what do we want? It doesn't suit our interests. Yeah, I mean, we kind of proposed it, so whatever. This is not good. Oh, Dutch Uganda? Our diplomats secured a round of success today in Amsterdam as we managed to pry the rights to the colony of Uganda during the last round of talks on the dismantlement of the defeated countries. The colony might rebel against our rule and fight for independence, but the, our exclusive claim to it is sure to make other powers envious of Dutch diplomacy. Cool. We get some infamy, which I should have waited earlier, but whatever. Come on, economy. You guys start working better than this. Um, hunting is part of the just part circle of life. We're the most prestigious nation in the world. Yes, we are. Oh, we're making some money. Good. Oh, look at the Lithuania's here. Oh, we dismantled. Oh, ooh. So Austria Hungary got Bavaria as a satellite. Um, we didn't get the Rhineland, which sucks, but we did get this too. Oh, you've been my ladies. It's very nice. Oh, there are actually already some Dutch here. Or Wallonians. Oh, I wasn't on planning of making Poland bigger. Oh, this is disgusting. Danzig exists as well, and they're, in, they're under Scandinavia. Um, sure, I guess. Hopefully Russia doesn't attack them anytime soon. That's fine with me. Let's see, what else happened down here? Italy's looking pretty normal. Greece is looking... Wow. I don't know what happened to the Ottoman Empire, but even Armenia, like, off-screen, like, earlier, Armenia just popped out. I guess they're allied to the Germans and the British. But oh, they still own Turkish cars. Oh, my goodness. Um, not bad. Hey, we got this too. Yeah, that's good. That's pretty good. Uh, I will help, like, we will get some more, like, social spending for our people here soon. I just want to pay off the debt as fast as possible. I hate debt so much. Alright, and then we'll lower taxes eventually as well. There you go, thank you. And I'll give it some more time, that's fine. And we'll lower tariffs eventually as well, I promise on that, but... The Tangier International Zone. In 1917, the great powers of Europe assembled together on the initiative of the Netherlands and decided the fate of Morocco and its Sultanate with Tangier Protocol. Cool. Thus, the great powers hope that the current conflicts over Morocco would end. We get 12.25 prestige. Nice. And Morocco really likes us. Who's this? Scandinavia? Why did you get Morocco? What the heck? Hey, Morocco's back. Oh, there's a satellite of us. Nice. Don't worry, we only took over your, your, your nation earlier and, you know, forced you to do stuff for us, but whatever. So, look at that. You're looking okay. That looks really just not good. Okay, so whoever's good is going to be on the coast. Ooh, I'm just going to do that, that's fine. Um, I'm not going to give you guys up as well. Amian. Ooh, that's not good either. Oh, that's not too bad. What is this? Who is this first group here? 20,000? Eh, just combine them, it doesn't really matter too much. 5, 40? I've got so much reorganizing to do off the screen. You can see that these guys got are pretty strong, at least they got a lot of experience at the very least. You guys are looking too bad as well. Now, who can we influence? Romania and Chile? I'll see their priority. Romania and Chile. Cool. You got a bunch of communists in Chile. Oh, okay then. Well, yep, Germany's definitely not as dismantled as I would have liked them to be, but that's okay. Alliance off from Denmark exists. I can't go to war with them, so I'm going to say no. Hopefully they can... African Farms of Mines. If you liked it about that, please go right ahead. But we'll just do that anyways. Thank you very much. We got some more tax efficiency, which is very good. Industry, let's get some better roads immediately. I love the roads. All right, let's go see if we can pay off some more debt right now. Nice. Very good, very good. And we're technically fascist right now, which is okay. Um, What other events do we have over here before we, you know, talk about the comments? Claim Artois. Oh, we need to be a, a, actually a fascist dictatorship. Dutch Rwanda. Oh, yes. I want to claim our toilet, and we can't get the monarchy back, really, so... From Turkestan, renovate these guys. Ooh, central baking and money money printing? Cool. Oh, plantations, if you... Okay, so Rwanda, Rwanda is a mountainous region, which can hamper agricultural activity. However, the mountains' climate is also well-suited for a few plantations. We can take advantage of this by using the right mix of agricultural products and plantation system coupled with native workforce to, great, to greatly expand the production area. Nice. Nice. Geneva Convention? No, thank you. Um... Cool. And can we 
Make any more divisions here? Let's see. Excellent healthcare. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, who's over here, actually? You have 30,000. So, uh, we have one. Actually, give me that engineer. That's fine to put him over here. That's fine. Uh, that'll be seven. And then three more artillery, which we, we go with Dutch people. One, two, three. Nice. The reason I'm trying to get fascism is just to get the cores on Artois. That's what I, I'm just shooting for here. Uh, where's our navy? Our navy is looking okay. It actually did pretty darn well. I did like combine some of our fleets together so that, that we could transport soldiers and they wouldn't die in the ocean. So that's why some of them are here. All right, head on to New York. Because I literally took every single division away from where we were at. There you go, you did too. Switzerland, sure. We are now the new hegemons of Europe. Hey, no more death. Okay, so if that's the case, you can raise that up if you really need to. That's fine. Tariffs are going to be fine for now. Uh, Demounts the profiteering of those fat cats. Sure, why not? And I'm sure migration is really bad for us right now. <clears throat> uh, migration is actually not as bad as it could be. Man, that German Empire is looking really sad without Bavaria. And without the rest of Prussia. Oh, that's disgusting. That is just god-awfully disgusting. Uh, in the meantime, we have 9 score. I don't like the UK. Oh, their Labour Party. Decrease alliance. Or decrease, uh, you know, relations. Russia? We love Russia. Austria-Hungary? We love Austria-Hungary. And we might go to war with uh, Italy later on, too. America? I don't mind the Americans. The Germans? I don't mind the Germans either. They probably don't like us. Oh, Dutch Burundi? Yes. Oh, African farms of mine. Oh, plantations? I thought we already did this one. Sure, why not? African farms of mines? No. Okay, then. Turkey? Oh, Turkey came back. Turkey used to be socialist. Now they're fascist. Okay, they're just... Hmm. Wow. Congo. The Congo's still looking pretty nice. I'd like to go to war with them, but we can't go to war with anybody until we get rid of the effect of what? Too many safaris? No. No more war. So, January 1920. So I can't really go to war with anybody yet. So, hopefully we'll do well here, but a couple comments. So I recommend we take back Ake, which we'll try to. We'll try to. Um, I wanted to dismantle the UK. That's my main goal next. That is my absolute main goal next to dismantle the UK. Austin, I, oh, that's right. I did make a lot of divisions from Chinese soldiers. Yeah. Hmm. That is very true. At the same time, we need more uh, troop transports too. So, battleships. I did make some destroyers too. Troops. Troop ships? Yes. Uh, there you go. You make nine. That should be good enough. Cool. Oh, Kazan? Wait, who's... No, Russia helped us out. I don't want to do that, so... Oh, crap. Oh, no, Russia. Austria-Hungary, my only allies. They hate each other, but... Oh, boy. Anyways, so, yeah, take back a cab and look at demographics. Someone wants me to look at demographics. Currently, we have a population of 250 million, which is actually extremely impressive for 1917. But, right now, we have 20% other, so... Okay. we got some Protestants down here. Nice. Nice. 10% of our population is South Han. 8.6% is Javan. 5.4% is North Han Chinese. 5.3% uh, is Vietnamese. Less than 5% of our entire population is Dutch. More Chinese is 4.4%. Houses is 4%. Yankees, 3.2%. Malay is 3.1%. Min, Yoruba, Flemish is 2.5%. Filipino is 2.3%, which is kind of cool. Wallonian is 1.9%. Moluccan is 1.9%. Igbo is 1.8%. Central American is 1.6%. So French is even 1.1%. Not bad. And the vast majority of our workforce are farmers. Laborers are in second place, and craftsmen are a distant third. Uh, the vast majority of our people, at least if there is a majority, there is no majority, the biggest group of people that practice a certain religion here are Sunnis, then Mahayan, and then Protestants, which is pretty close, and then Catholic, Oriental Orthodox, and Theravada. And for dominant issues, it's just, it's a giant mess. I mean, Jesus Christ, look at that. Pacifism, then Jingoism, then full citizenship, and secured or secularized. Even though the overall overwhelming ideology is socialist, followed by liberal, followed by conservative, and fascist at the bottom, 1.2%. And electoral vote, or electorate vote is 20, like, almost 20, 21%. So, it is what it is. This is just a giant mess, as you can all see. But it is what it is. But I think for... Oh. Hello. French having communists. They really like us. But they're socialists. They're, they're communists too, huh? But... Oh, oh, God. Um, oh, oh, they're Russian fascists. Whoa, there's a lot of fascists here. So, I guess we'll see what happens. I'm going to let the game play on just in the background so we can uh, just get more stuff. And kind of make sure that we can, we're ready for the next war. And here we are, my friends, in which... Well, actually, we're at war with Russia right now. And they have a special, unique uh, little flag right there. But we went to war with them because, well, apparently, the Polish wanted uh, Brest? Russian Brest? 
So, um, yeah, it is what it is. The all Russian fascist party is in power for now, but um, I guess we'll just go and go to war with actually the French because even though actually now France is at war with the UK, Germany, Brazil, Canada, and all sorts of people down there, but we're gonna go to war with them as well because I want to acquire the state of well, it was either Normandy really or Alsace Lorraine. I'm thinking Alsace Lorraine just because why not? We could be the only border. Uh, with Germany, France doesn't need a border with Germany, of course not. We can need we need the border with Germany, even though we're probably going to war with them, even though Germany is allied with Italy as well as the UK, which is not very good for us. But you know, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I, I kind of want Alsace Lorraine just because we can. No, no one will ever fight over that region again because it's proper proper Dutch territory. So here we go. Call all of our allies in. Will they all accept? Uh, yeah, pretty much all of them will accept. So now France is fighting basically our faction. Versus the German-British faction, which is probably really not good for them. So, yeah. And we're also going to peace out with the Russians, because we can. Propose peace, thank you. Uh, they don't accept all this, acquire Brest. Uh, that's the only reason why they wanted to come here. I kind of wanted to install a friendly democracy in Russia, too. We'll get five prestige. If we fail to achieve this goal, we'll lose 100. So oh, that's a lot of prestige loss. Um, dismantle the Empire. Oh, well, they might. The Poles might get Brest anyways if we do that, so there you go. Argentina goes bankrupt. Cool. Argentina better pay its debts. Cool. So we do have two divisions over here as well. Um, you guys go there, and then you guys go there. Yeah, some of our guys got hit pretty darn hard. Uh, hopefully, these guys get breasts in the end, though, which will be very good. But now we're at war the French. And they have come in. All right, then. They don't seem very strong, so we might just be able to do that, then. Um, Yeah, they're, they could be a lot stronger. They could actually be quite a bit stronger. Oh, they're the Germans coming in, too. It is what it is. I'm not too worried about it too much, though. All right, you guys. Let's see. One of you guys, and they're getting still siege down or you know blockaded by the UK. So I can't wait to beat up the, the armies over here. Um, not bad. Head on over there, guys. That'll be fine. You guys are doing great. They keep throwing in more guys, but they keep dying too, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. And we'll destroy the French navy. And hopefully, we just oh, the treaty of Moscow. Look at that. They've lost war, and luckily the victors. The vultures of victors have descended upon us. We've been forced to deploy, forced to the bargaining table to accept humiliating terms regarding the breakup of our empire, and with many of our lands simply given away, and we should be permitted to no overseas holdings whatsoever. This is a moment that shall be remembered in Russia for years to come, in which they got more than just Brest. They got Pinsk, they got Volun, they've got more of that, and Lithuania is, well, they didn't get anything yet. But Russia's allied with us. Now the 15th place in the world they're no longer great power which is great to see and there's moldova here which will probably unify with romania we got ukraine here as well which is awesome 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 i actually kind of i kind of actually I like that a lot oh we're out of dipple points probably belarus is very nice newfoundland belarus yes yes would you like an alliance no okay oh let's come up here prioritize the game because it uh, did it crash earlier no it just actually did crash earlier it did crash kazakhstan looking Pretty nice, but they're primitives, huh? Probably don't want an alliance, huh? That's fine with us. Kyrgyzstan, Uzbekistan, Baratia, and Japan. Oh my gosh, Japan actually got all that? Whoa, that is... I never knew Japan could get all this stuff. That's kind of cool, actually. Well, the, they're... Oh, Azerbaijan's here? Oh, would they want an alliance? I'd love to take Azerbaijan. Uh, go do that, as well as Georgia, too. Hopefully, Russia never rises up again and really beats up. Hopefully, they get... And they stay relatively strong, just because um, we're going to need them against the Germans. Definitely against the Germans. That's looking pretty good, I'm not going to lie. That's looking pretty darn nice. But the end goal here is to go to war with the Germans. At least take the Rhineland and dismantle the UK. So that's what I really want to see. Um, okay. Battle of Paris is looking very good. And they're attacking us. Alright, that's probably not going to go very well for them, but that's okay. Did these guys peace out with these other people? They might have, actually. Already. Nice. Uh, yes, they did. What do they do? Acquire I That's all they wanted was Ivory Coast. Wow. Yep, that's alright. Our athletes are victorious. Very good. I'm kind of surprised this number's not going down any faster, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, and they're attacking us in Paris. Alright, well, whatever. The army's ninth largest in the world, which is fine, whatever. Don't really care too much. But how about you guys head on over to Paris? How about that? Obviously, our arms aren't very good still, but we'll try to make it so that uh, we can 
do well against our enemies. Hopefully we can get the United States to go to war with the uh, other dudes as well. The British eventually, maybe. We'll see what happens. We should win here. We should win here as well. Uh, I don't. That was unfortunate that this happened here, but whatever. Oh, nice. Before I have more war score, pretty good. Oh, we got more cursor. Just you know, cavalry attack and defense. Nice, very nice. The Russian colonies will take whatever we can. They will be very good. Because if we don't take them, someone else will. All right, France. How many more dead people do you want? Seriously. I want also this rain, but uh, reparations would be bad. Can we free Allied cores in Col oh Colombia? That might, might not be too bad. How how much would that take? Three point seven infamy is not too bad. Acquire another state. That's eleven infamy. That's a bit much. Liberate a country. What if we wanted to liberate someone like Germany? No, that that's still eleven infamy. Reparations is not bad either. I do like that. But free Allied cores in Colombia. And the Battle of Paris, well, we lost 12,000 versus 117,000. Not bad. Now that is not too bad. We are snaking around here, not bad at all. Africans, farms, and mines, thank you very much. Oh, we can create Yugoslavia, maybe it violates Swiss neutrality. We could do that. Oh. Technically, we can do that. People won't like that, and I don't see a point to do that right now, so... We're probably not, but now we're going to go ahead and solidify our holdings. And probably end up going to war, maybe with the Germans. We'll see what happens. You never know what's going to happen off screen. Other than that, really nothing else has really happened off screen. I mean, the French, as you can see, became communist. And we're now the greatest power, military power in the world. I'm really trying to improve my relations with the Americans just because I think they'd be a really good ally against the Canadians and the British. But obviously, we'll see what happens. All right, everyone, so here we're at. It is now July 8th, 1923, and you see up here, we got a little bit of a crisis up here. So, apparently, the Turks want some territory called Vaughn from the Armenians over here. So, is this Vaughn? Is Trabzon? They wanted Van back. Van, Vaughn, whatever it may be called. Even though Armenia did take some territory from the Transcaucasian Republic, or Transcaucasia, which kind of does suck. Oh, cool. And we have about... So, they wanted the territory. The UK supported the Armenians. I supported the Turks. And, uh, well, as you can see, the Austro-Hungarians and the Scandinavians have backed us, even though the United States did not want to get involved. Neither did Germany, because they broke their alliance with, uh, the UK, apparently, or something like that. And then, uh, wow, their prestige sucks, but they have a massive industry. And, but then, Japan? I mean, what is Japan doing? Uh, oh, did they break their alliance with us, too? Oh, no, they're still allied with us. Okay, well, whatever. And then, Mexico is a great power! Go figure! Mexico! Mexico is a great power! So, you know Russia's fallen very hard once, uh, well, I guess they're fascists again. But they're now our allies, so, whatever. Also, we got a lot of infamy, too, just because of the, the crisis thing that happened. But also because it kept, the event kept popping up saying that we wanted territory from Russia, but we never got any more colonial territory from them, which kind of sucks, but. Ooh, the British got Alaska. That is disgusting, and that is illegal. But Maybe. When we go to war, I just hope that the U.S. does something. Because they're led by the Republican Party, but they're so boring right now. But, you know what? I don't want this war. And you can see, our army's already on the coast. I'm not mobilized right now at all. Which is probably a big mistake. And France has more rebels, but... Uh, they are currently communist. Being sieged down by French communists. When your version of communism doesn't work, you just rebel to get another version of communism, apparently. So, I guess we're going to go to war with the U.K. Um, so, I guess we'll see what happens. And... Russia said no. Okay, that's good to know. Honduras said no. Persia, Afghanistan said no, which makes sense because they were with the Russians. Well, I'm not sure what to tell you, but, uh... uh oh, you guys come over here. And our fleet's not looking too bad. Begin to blockade them. I wonder if we could just ferry troops over to the, over here at all. That's probably a really bad idea. We could try it. We could definitely try it. Hopefully we don't get any invaded ourselves. And we're only fighting Brazil, Armenia, and the UK for now. Of course, and their allies as well, don't get me wrong, but... I really wonder... Oh! Uh, sure, Russia. We'll take it... Oh. Oh. Poland left us. Work in progress. Um, look at that. Oh, let's grab that one too, why not? Well, let's see if we can call them in, because I don't want to be allied with them unless they're going to come in, so... Alright, actually, get those guys in there too. 
put everyone here just so we can get some soldiers over here as fast as possible. Because I want to dig in. And I guess we, now we can declare a state of emergency. That would be good, so. That would be good. That is 28th. Russia, you better come in or we don't want to be your ally. Air superiority is very nice. We did make quite a few more planes and such as well, so. Alright, they've chosen their path, and so have we then. Honestly, I don't care about any other uh, area here. Oh, Canada's over there. Um, uh, Mountains, montane grasslands, farms. To get over here, will that be a penalty? Because this is three defense. Yeah, get it, Albany. Went, these 30,000 soldiers are going to have to defend as best possibly they can. Get a Belize. I don't think we have anything else down here. Venezuela is liberal. It's cool. And we do have stuff over here, but I don't, I just, I don't really care too much about it. Let them siege stuff down and let them attack us. But we're going to, like, keep an eye on this, maybe. Probably not, actually. But it is what it is. Cool. Head on down there, you guys. I want to definitely, absolutely take out South Africa by the end of this campaign. But we'll see what happens. Ooh, the British. Oh, the Japanese got Yemen. All right. All right. Beersheba? Beersheba? Sure, why not? You guys are at war as well with them, which is a good thing. Italy's not, which is good. And, well, France is basically destroyed for the rest of the campaign, so that's good. All right, are we going to actually land someday, or are you just going to sit there? Actually, if you really wanted to. 61, 62, did they have uh, soldiers going? Uh, Belarus? Sure. Come on in, guys. Nope, they will accept. Greece? Why would I join the war against Greece? Are you kidding me, guys? Turkey. Turkey. <sighs> Fine. I don't want to do that, but whatever. The Austro Hungarians are moving all the way down through here. That's actually really nice. Good. Oh, and Egypt is allied with us. Yes, it's good. They are Papa technically, so. They can't really refuse. I wonder if they're going to really. Oh. Yep. Well. And this is how we're going to do it. Where get in there, huh? Well, we have six, they have eight, minus one crossing, which is good to see. Good to... Not bad. Who is that, Moldova? Well, our only ally of you coming to the war, and they actually didn't get absorbed by anybody else. Alright, that's kind of good, kind of good. Jerusalem will be ours. Oh, we lost a lot of money. We're losing a lot of money. Cambridge, can you get in there quickly enough so that we can actually just take it out? That'd be kind of nice. Oh, sure, why not? Nice. Cool. And head on over here. We probably will have to mobilize in the end, though, which will kind of suck, but whatever. Alright, and you guys head over to Canterbury? You might actually be able to do that, maybe. Let them attack us. Oh, they're attacking us. And I want to send you over here, then. Oh, they are definitely throwing a lot of guys in here now. Um, you can back up, then. Back up. That's a lot. This is... Oh, my gosh. 300,000 British boys involved. Oh, my gosh. Nice. These guys are definitely going to have to hold out, but here we should be able to win here. We got... We had a really good dash roll there, but... Eh. Airplane defense is very, very good. Oh. Oh, down here. Oh, that eh, doesn't really matter. How is Africa looking? That's fine. Just, just have a nice defense there. Have a nice little defense. Oh, and Asia is probably looking... Not, yeah, that was pretty bad. Um, hills, I guess. Go for the... Run for the hills. And mountains. You're all probably going to die, but sorry. It is what it is. Anything else? Oh, yeah, Akea and stuff like that. I forgot, but let's send someone did say we should take these guys out. I guess we could try. So we'll do that. Anything over here? Not really. I guess we'll get there. That's fine. Um, how about over here? Oh, not bad. Can we sell El Salvador and hang out and hold out? Oh, and they're attacking us here. They should be losing way more than that. Bloody strikes. Ooh, more conservative or so. I'll go conservative. Why not? That's fine. Doesn't really matter too much. We still have a core population, or total population of 280 million, which is not bad. Oh, how many have died? They've got a really good dice roll. They had a really good dice roll. Now they're losing thousands by the day. That is uh, worrying me just a little bit right now. But we still have another guy here. Which is good. I'm going to go ahead and send you home to link up with those other six ships. And maybe we can start doing this too. More blockades would be very nice. They have thrown in hundreds of thousands of men. Oh my goodness, this is what we like to see. Literally hundreds of thousands are dying by the day. Oh, this is nice. What's the war score so far? 16% nice. 
Actually, with the UK, I wanted to dismantle their empire. Yes. We shall be victorious. This is the most important war that we're going to fight in this campaign. This is not good. But as long as we can kill off enough of them, that's all that matters. Thousands are dying by the day, which is good, good, good. Get more airplane stuff. And we're getting heavy armaments as well. As you can see, we're losing a lot of money right now, which is not good. So, let's cut that down. Oh, did we lose a battle? Whatever. I did. This is the most important thing to hear, so. Uh, what, me worry? No, 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 no. Oh, they're probably down in the yeah, Madagascar. Oh, Saliban doesn't really matter. All that matters is that we kill off enough of the enemies. I don't know where the navy is, though. That's probably the most important thing to think about. Oh, God. Ooh, who are they? What? Ukraine? I mean, I frankly don't care, but we need these guys here with us, so... Yeah, that's fine. Whatever. I really don't want to have to mobilize. This army's not doing great right now, but whatever. Um, oh, at least it slowed down the amount of money we're losing right now. Does this guy have good defense? He's plus... Yep, he's got plus three defense. That's pretty good. This guy has plus three attack, so... But we also have plus three attack, too. So whenever we need to attack, we'll do okay. Keep blockading them, though. Which I do kind of wonder where the ships are at. Where's their navy? Fourth, a fourth? Anything up there? They have thousands of soldiers ready. Hello. 32. Oh, get out of there. Let's come back here. and. It, ooh, Albany. We lost 80,000, but they lost. Um, honestly, I don't think that's really correct. I mean, come on. They lost 42,000 versus 18,000. That is an absolute god-awful Pyrrhic victory. That is absolutely a Pyrrhic victory. Like this, we're going to lose this army here. Actually, we leave right now. Oh, well, we can't. But, like... Oh. Nice, 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 nice. Um, we're going to need more, way more divisions here. So, let's just go ahead and make some more divisions. One, two. Uh, make some more Flemish guards. No hussars. I prefer airplanes, honestly. Uh, you can make some artillery, because that's probably pretty useful. Get some armor if you possibly can. Get some more armor. Grab some guards, because we're going to be needing them on defense. So there you go. Cool. Militancy is not bad right now. We're going to keep throwing in more boys, which kind of sucks, but constitutional crisis doesn't really matter. Oh! Oh, look at that. Nice. Plus 15. Oh! Wow, we actually won there. Look at that. We killed 77,000. Nice. And we're done with the army page, which is great. Oil driven ships. Let's get some more organization first. We definitely don't need that. Great job, guys. That's actually really cool. We lost some other places here and there, but whatever. Um, oh, we have our armies over here, too. Oh, that sucks. Well, that's not bad. I forgot about these guys, too. Uh, head on over here, then. And you guys get over here, too. We need you right now. All right, so they have less than our, the number of soldiers that we have right now, which is good, 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 good. We got tons of artillery. These guys are still barely holding on. Oh, who are we fighting now? Puerto Rico, Greece, Montenegro, Armenia, Qatar. Dutch Liberation. I um, mean, honestly, oh, what is that? Annex Montenegro. Let's see. Can we free Allied Corps from Argentina? It's quite a bit. Take a puppet. That's quite a bit still, so. We're probably going to have uh, to mobilize. Oh, they threw even more guys here. Yeah. If we can win this one battle, then we might actually get enough war score to do well here. Wukati? Um. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, both of you get over here. Do not do that. Do not do that. Both of you get down there. We just lost about a Bukhari here. So, just kind of hang out. That'll be okay. Actually, I have the Austro-Hungarians here, too. It's very nice as well. I need to pay attention to this front a little bit more. Uh, Kitowa? Oh, these guys did great around here, too. Look at that. Oh, we gotta fight the Greeks, though. God dang it. Why did you want to go to war with Greece, you pieces of garbage? Why are the Ukrainians here? Where are the Puerto Ricans here? I don't want those ships to uh, get out of there, so go there, go there, and go back. Oh! Okay, so with that entire army left, that was a pretty big army with no no guy. Apparently he died or something. We How did we lose score when we killed off almost a quarter million of them? I'd love to understand that. These ships should die almost instantly. Yeah, no, you're not going to do that, you son of a gun. There's no escape for you. That's what you get, Canada, for allying an evil empire. Trusty system? 
Mm. Crack the whip out of love? You bet we will. Nice, there you go. Son, you literally sent a death warrant. You came all the way over here thinking you're going to be at peace? Huh. Nice. Go and repair if you need to. That'd be good. And you guys get over there. That'd be good. Oh. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that yet. Oh, look at that. Grungingen? Nice. Give him one month, and then we'll send him back over and continue blockading them. In certain areas, of course. There you go. Good enough. Uh, don't want to send these guys in, but we're going to have to. So be it. Get those guys some morale before they even start fighting. That's good. I wonder if we could... Let me go and call these guys in, because we have actually really high relations with the Americans. So how do we get the Shadow of War thing here? Minus... How's it minus 60% battles? Yeah, I don't know, man. Oh, we do have score over time. Bonus plus 18%, so... Yeah. Oh, we can build a lot more guys. We need just a lot more infantry, so... Let's go ahead, shall we? One... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get some planes as well. I love the planes, man. I love planes. And go with planes. Just in case, build some artillery just in case we don't have enough. Actually, change that to soldiers. And then over here, get some more soldiers. Cool. Oh, now they've got soldiers as well. Almost, almost there. We might actually be able to cycle soldiers out of here. Good, they have a crossing penalty still, which is very nice. Hopefully we're very, 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 very well entrenched as well. That'll be good. Come on, end the battle. Please end the battle. Which they won't end the battle anytime soon, but that's fine. Battle of Yola. Oh, look at that. They actually attacked us in here. I knew they would attack us in here eventually. I knew that would happen. So, with the UK, what's the war score like now? 20%? Nice. Yeah, we're not going to do any of that. Just dismantle the Empire. Quit Puerto Rico down in size. No, at next Montenegro, that's a bit too much. I just want to dismantle them. I just use the Turkish people as a thing for, you know, going to war as fast as possible. Sorry, Turks, but it is what it is. There you go. Oh, like kept throwing in more soldiers. All right, we literally can't afford to lose this battle. So head on over here, maybe, and get some more uh, stuff. Good stuff, you know. It's fine, doesn't really matter. Once this battle's over, it's going to be incredibly saddening. Really, it's going to be really sad because uh, the thousands of British boys that have just died here. And the, and the Dutch boys, but really. This is so sad. I will mobilize if we have to, though. If they throw in another stack, I'm going to mobilize. And I might just finish it off screen just because. It'll take a while. It'll take a while to do. Just dropping them like crazy. 5,000 a day. Jesus Christ, that's awesome. Keep going, keep going. There's less of them than us now. Actually, they will start improving relations with the Germans. Do you want an alliance? No. Uh, we'll see what happens. 26% Greek liberation. I, oh, I'm forgetting about this part, too. Oh, my goodness. So, not good. Now, this is a mountain. Grassland Hills. We still might be able to beat them up. The Greeks are probably not that strong, honestly. So, yeah, they're dying like crazy. So, that's good. Guys. We... We can't do that yet. We need to focus on Ukraine and stuff like that. And Poland and... Jeez Louise. There you go. Go there, too. That'd be good. Alright, they they did it. Alright, we're mobilizing. Send them in. I don't care if this, is, if this literally exhausts us. But, it, we have to do it like this. We have to. You want to mobilize, UK? You want, you want to kill millions of British boys? Alright, you asked for it. Oh, you have ships down there? I don't think so. Good, good, good. 
That's a lot of guys right there. Obviously, we don't need all the soldiers, but it's best to keep them. What do we got right here? So, 100 some. Put you in half. Give me half, you guys. Just go up here, too. Put you in half again, and then head on up. Head on up. That's too many guys in here. Select you guys. Get out. Nice. Getting better ships. Supply range is okay. And anyway, NCL training. More organizations. Very, very good to grab. You guys head down here. Split you guys in half. Go there. If not... Uh, sure. That's fine. And let's put you guys down in half. And then you guys head over there if you can. Nice. How? Just die, guys. Just die. It would help if we came down here, too. Funnel more soldiers across there. Funnel, 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 funnel. Okay, that's feared, huh? They should get there pretty soon. Pretty soon. 2.30? Oh, that's good. Bump up those numbers. 88. Split you in half. And head down here. So unfortunate it has to be like this. I really wish it didn't have to be like this, but... I think they're going to just keep throwing more soldiers until all their soldiers die for now. So, oh, Russia wants another alliance. Uh, Crimea acquires Crimea. Yeah, let's go to that one. Get them out of here. And we will call you in immediately. And they say yes and no. Are they? They say yes. Great. Go straight for Athens. Screw, screw the Greeks, man. All right, add them in. Add them straight on in. Try me up. Turkish fall. Cool. And I think at this point, I'm just going to go ahead and keep playing this off screen. And uh, I'll show you the casualties for this battle when we're done. And here we are, my friends. But the battle is still going on. It's October 17th, 1926. But, and, and this is a huge, huge Tukas. We can peace out with them. Uh, if we cut down that, cut that down that, we can humiliate the UK and reduce their prestige by 182 and force them to dismantle the Empire, which is the only thing I really cared about here. Not acquiring Vaughn, that would, uh, well, that really wasn't in, in my playbook. I didn't really care about that too much. We can make him, you know, concede defeat. We got 88% war score just because, uh, actually, why do we have 88% war score? We have almost double their division count. Uh, attacker occupation, score over time, annex Montenegro, which actually, actually... <gasps> We're not going to give them Vaughn or Montenegro, but those are the two reasons why we're going to be able to win this war. Even though, as you can see, this battle is still raging on. They're led by Winston Churchill, who is pretty good on tech and defense. And our guys, well, again, new guys, okay, but uh, prestige is 30%, his prestige is 9%, but um, off screen, like Romania went to war with us, so we, I we literally just pieced them out and then got Bulgaria, Dobrugia, so that was kind of cool. Uh, let's see, we went to war with Ukraine, obviously, but then they kind of pieced out. Armenia is not looking very good, this is not looking very good. Um, other than that, having the Japanese and the austro hungarians is actually not bad, as long as we can contend with most of them. But we do need a little bit of South Africa, eventually. So, we're not quite done yet, but we're almost there. And look at that. Oh, you guys are still here on the mountain. Which is fine, time to spread on out. But, at this point, the UK is pretty much done. And the most important thing is to dismantle their god-awful empire. They're not going to be easy to beat, but let's take a look. Do we just piece them out? Is that it? We don't even get... We don't even get to see the battle. We won the battle, ultimately, realistically, because, well, because they ran out of ships. Or they ran out of, you know, they conceded. Let's go and demobilize, actually, too. Oh, that's not good. Also, I did engage in a naval battle against the enemies there as well. Um, oh, they're down here. I I think this had 61 ships to start. We have 23 left. Not very good. Not very good, but it is what it is. Uh, you guys just hang out there, then. If you guys can all come home, please just come home. That'll be good. And now we can re the return of our colonies. With the recent defeat of a colonial power, our claims to one of our colonies they own are once again at the spotlight. The international community at large agrees that these colonies should be returned to Dutch government. We just need to take the necessary steps to get them back. Return of our colonies, which I'm not sure what it... Oh! <gasps> oh! We have 15.66 uh, point prestige. Look at that money. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's really good. That's actually really good. We can spend some more there. Because wars are so incredibly expensive. Anything else that happened here yet? Not yet. Oh, I want South Africa so badly. Oh, we got all... Madagascar, look at that. Nice. And we didn't actually break the budget this time, which is actually pretty good as well, so. Oh, we got it. As someone did ask, we got a okay, cat as well. And I forgot to move these guys around, huh? Kind of sucks, whatever. Uh, you guys kind of hang out up there then. That's fine. And they really didn't do much with the robots. Oh, we got all of Singapore as well. Look at that. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh god. I wanted to see how many men lost were lost in that battle, but apparently not. Oh, we got Sarawak as well. Very good. Very, very, very good. Kuching is very nice as well. Um, oh, we got all of Burma. We got literally all of Burma here too. Oh, that's so nice. God, I wish we could take over India. But now, because we have so much infamy, uh, I might have to release things to lower our infamy so we can take more stuff. Um, anything else here? Uh, British Africa needs to go bye-bye, realistically. Um, anything else? No, not really even over here. We did pretty well, I'd say, overall. Like, doing what we had to do wasn't bad, but we have Baiying China here as well. So apparently, China finally westernized. Huh. Okay, this is looking really ugly, to be honest. But let's create Malaysia. A unified and civilized federation of the Malay peoples will provide a stronger ally for our nation. Great. If you like it about that, please go right ahead. What to do with the companies know what's best to do. And African farms and mines, pretty nice. Asian farms and mines, very nice, very nice. And let's take a look and see what happens. Found mining. Yeah, we never became fascist, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Cool. Austria Hungary is looking mighty thick. I like how thick they are. And Russia joined the war as well, so. The Tree of London, Long Live the Netherlands, very good, very good. Oh, good. And now their prestiges have been reduced to 30. They're ranked 40th in the world, which is pretty darn nice. Screw the UK. Now, I still want to get South Africa, but we got to wait for some time to do stuff. So. Add to Sphere. Newfoundland, thank you. Canada and... Canada. Turkey. Um, okay. And Canada. Oh, Canada. Where are you? So why do we have, why do we have influence on Canada? I don't remember doing it to them, but, uh... Newfoundland, Egypt, Colombia... Am I missing them? Spain? Oh, what the heck? Where are they? Canada. Yeah, we're not... Okay, well, whatever. Dutch Namibia? We, they shall welcome our rule. Oh, oh, look at that. That's nice. That's good, that's good, that's good. I want South Africa so badly. I want to go to war with them, but we've got to wait for the truce to happen. And they have a truce with us until 36, 10 years. Holy cr Southern Rhodesia. Oh, I want to go to war so badly. I want to go to war so badly. Oh, my goodness. Tree of London is so nice. Oh, yeah. I've been playing this for three hours already off screen, but it is what it is. But, oh, my goodness. Anything else that happened? I want to see Scotland and Wales pop out. I really want to see that. Oil-driven ships as well. we got some elections coming along, which is fine. Oh, we're still the fascist party, huh? I always go with the fascist party or the reactionary party just because they like uh, jingoism. That's pretty much... <gasps> Whoa! British India. Oh, I thought that we got that. I'm like, wow, that's really orange. That'd be really awesome. That'd be really awesome if we got that, but I kind of doubt it. Ba Bayushin then? Yes? Yes? Oh, tell me we got some of the boars. Tell me... Oh, there's a lot of British people here. Is this where the boars people live? Why are there Turks here? Huh. And before I, we end this campaign, I do want to maybe show you to see if we have any... Uh, got some Irish down here. Amazonian, too. Um, what was the thing I'm thinking of? Union busting? Uh, less socialist, more reactionary. That's fine. Give me that one. Uh, demographics and just everything that we have all around here. So, Haverhillism. Uh, open hearth furnace. Why not? And let's keep doing that stuff, too. Very nice. Very, very nice. We're the preeminent power of the world. That's so nice. Protectionism. I don't really care right now. Hope we get some more stuff here. Congo. British Africa. Oh, we got some of this stuff too. Look at that. Nice. We announce the fat cats. That's fine. Does Russia own this? Oh, duh. They do. Oh, boy. That is disgusting. Who's this over here? Mali? Huh. More artillery tech and support. Very, very good. Suppress this now. Upper Egypt terrorism. Oh, God, no. Oh, this is disgusting. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, the Middle East. Oh, oh, oh. Why did Austria Hungary get this? Armenia is looking not too bad, though. But we have. Turk Meneli, which we saw earlier. We also have... Ah, Israel! Oh, we gotta do that one. Hold on. Form alliance. Oh, it... I will kill Israel? Huh. Oh, Germany and China versus Qinghai. Okay. Uh, and there's... Italy still owns that area. Israel exists. Dutch... Yeah, Smalley. Thank you. Oh, what's that over there, too? Turk Meneli. God dang, that sucks for them. They're literally those parts of Syria. It's like a Syri Syrian civil war. Like, they're just scattered all over the place here. Who is Sicilia? Is that like the ancient Roman or ancient kingdom in, like, Rome to the war that just pops out sometimes? Hmm. Well, uh, we can get done on that a little bit. That's fine for now. 
But yeah, this was... Oh! Denmark is gone too. Scandinavia Navy must have annexed them. Nice. Head on over, guys. Our armies are looking... Just beating the crap out of. That is so not good. Wow. That's so bad. Sure, guys. If you want to come over, Manchuria, that is fine with us. Oh, and you guys... Yeah, head on over, guys. We... I'm going to do this off screen. If you like your brothers, please go ahead and call in us comment. We'll make a fine satellite. Oh, we got this too. Look at that. British Africa? I don't think so, man. I don't think so. No railroads? Oh, it's desert. Oh, that sucks. Who would want to live there? Not me, man. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Austria, who are you fighting? Poland? Yes. Actually, I'm okay with that. Beat the Poles up. Just because the Poles, like, betrayed us. Why, why did the Poles have to betray us, man? Why? Uh, you guys are over here. That's fine. You guys are severely injured. Head on over and going in. Patriots are going to fight for the country. That's good. Sure, guys. If you want to come on through, that's fine. Get the guys over here, too. I want you guys to heal up first before we hit send over guys of Manchu provinces. That's fine. Oh, we're fighting Germany now? Oh. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's really not good. I should have looked at that before. I'm actually going to go to an earlier save, but I'll see you when we can go to war with South Africa and right the wrongs of history. All right, everyone, so we're not quite there yet to take out South Africa, but as you can see, we got a few communist rebellions here, and then Germany declared war on us, so yeah, that's not good. What the heck happened over here? Um, just go and retreat, guys. Go ahead and uh, get out if you can. That'd be really good. Oh, you're dying. Well, we lost that army. I don't know what they were doing down there, but okay. Well, apparently we're losing a lot of things here, which really, really sucks, but uh, Germany's also at war with a lot of other people, too, so I'm not sure what Germany's thinking, but okay, whatever. I hate that the communists all rose up. They literally all decided to rise up right now. Uh, no concessions to those guys. So because of Germany doing this to us, I'm going to kill every single last German if we possibly can. What the heck is going on over here? What would happen over here? Grongangen? What the heck? Combine the armies. Just kind of heal up for now. This makes no sense, but okay. Oh, good. A German army wants to come in? Kill them all off. Every single last German's got to die. Every single last one of them. They want to move into here? Well, they got to attack us first. Cool. Keep taking down them because they actually went to war with us, which is stupid, but whatever. Good. That's not enough Germans. That is absolutely not enough Germans to kill off. If you can, surround that group, actually. That'd probably be a good idea. Oh, boy. And they're attacking us here? All right. Move on in, guys. Move on in. Kill them all off. Siege him down. At least these guys are helping us out. Um, yeah, I don't know. A German just... They didn't like us. So I'm like, okay, well, so be it. So be it. Suck on some Austro-Hungarian uh, military there. Yeah, die, Germany. What the heck is happening over here? Oh, boy. That's not good. Actually, that's a, actually that's really good. Nice job, guys. Um, if that's the case, move on over there. Move on over there. And then you guys, how are we doing down here? Looking pretty darn nice arenos, I would say so. Good, good, good. Head on in. Kill them all off. That's not enough Germans, guys. That's seriously not enough. Attack them. Kill them all off if you can. That'd be very, very good. As they're trying to conscript more soldiers here, that is not ideal as well. Go for Cadets. Apparently trying to make a bigger navy as well, but obviously it's not working out very well right now, but whatever. Uh, head on up here. Find their ships. Kill them all off. Crimea? Eh, I don't want to do that. Fine, so be it. Crimea's got to die, man. Or, Ukraine's got to die. Um, there's no good place to put our soldiers. Head on up there. Floating unrest. This is turning into a gigantic mess. Warlord Air for Bayang. Ba Alright. Mukden. So be it. Battle of Amp. What is going on? Autosund. That's good. Uh, let's see. Germany, do you want to white piece out? Like, this is stupid. They would accept this? Hold on, how are we winning? Minus 16%. Conquest of Alsace Lorraine. Yeah, no. Doesn't really matter. I don't really care right now. Find them, kill them all off. Luik. It is what it is. Head on up there. And then we keep getting attacked. Not good. Not good. I just wanted to take out South Africa, man. That's all I wanted. Hmm. But, you know what, with Austria hungry here too, that's actually really good. So, if we can hold out for as long as possible, that'll be good. What are you guys doing over here? I didn't tell you guys to attack. I literally didn't tell you guys to attack here, so I don't know what they're doing. 
Karlsruhe? Head on up. No, don't go through their land, you dinguses. Go over there. Good. Wiesbaden's good to see. Uh, head on over here, maybe, and sneak around and get the rotten down. That'd be nice. Oh, head on over here. No, 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 no. Good, good, good. Kill them all off. I mean, come on, Germany. Uh, don't go there. Uh, kind of hang out. Go there, and then you guys go there, and then uh, some of you guys might just end up going right there. Heilbrunn? How are, we, how are they losing up there? On defense. Victoria 2, it just doesn't make sense sometimes. It really does not. How? Who? Freiburg? Where? Show me that. They didn't, they didn't even show us that. that. Oh my goodness, that's why I don't like it sometimes. Oh, right there, that's fine then. But, alright. Kill every last German off. Can I add anything here? Cut to liberate people? The, oh, liberate. Ryland, huh. I did technically want the Rhineland. We could probably do that, actually. You know what? That's why I saved this for earlier. Sign the Geneva Convention? That's fine. Lose one infamy. And I want the Rhineland. You're going to give me the Rhineland, whether you like it or not, Germany. Acquire the state of the Rhineland. That would cost 11. So we will have to liberate at least one other person. So let's give it some more time before we piece them out. Because they're getting siege down now. They've got a couple armies over here, but they're not. that's not enough. And Russia's at war. These guys are what? They're only secondary power. So be it. Whatever. Um... Nice. Good. And then you guys got guys over here too. Emden, very nice. Head on down there too. Good. Oh my gosh. Wow. And thirty thousand more soldiers died too. That's awesome. Malta? Uh, sure. Germany? No. Um, can we release anybody here? Not possible when at war. Ooh, so maybe just in case. American Unification. We'll save real quick. And then, we're going to do this, uh, hopefully a fast maneuver here. Which, I am taking the Rhineland. I don't care what happens. I'm taking the Rhineland. Hopefully no one else goes to war with us. Because we're technically over our infamy limit right now. And hopefully they peace out. Come on, peace out with us, boys. Peace out with us. Peace out with us, you pieces of garbage. Come on. There we go. Peace out. Oh, as soon as we can, of course. Good. We're at peace. That's fine. That's good. Uh, yeah, I don't want. I'm not fighting the Ukraine. Screw those guys. But now we got to liberate some place from here. Also, Bali, Belgium, no, 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 Bornu. Uh, Cyprus? Might not be bad. Oh my goodness, we're still at war. Um, this is so stupid. I'm not gonna, I'm not doing this. I'm just gonna wipe these out. So, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And make sure that, oh, look at that, that's not too bad. That's going a little better. But, I'm gonna fix things off, off stream once again. Well, everyone, well, I just don't think we're gonna be able to get to South Africa. Just because, they're allied with the British and the Germans. And I'm kind of tired of going to war with the Germans. And the Germans are allied with the Americans and the Italians, and this is just, to me, it's just dragging on just a little bit. But, so I think we'll end it here for this campaign. It's been a lot of fun. Scandinavia, is great having them actually form. Even though now they're actually still a great power, which is good. Ah, here are the great powers of the world. So, we are top. We are top dog. Slowly, or closely followed by the Americans, which, their industry is just insane. Ohio, just, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Massachusetts, and Indiana. Why is Indiana in there? But anyways, it doesn't matter. And New England is pretty low on the list. And Missouri, what the heck? Anyways, anyways. Um, but yeah, here's a score for everybody. UK is closely following behind America and, and us. And Germany is about half our score, but just the German military is just so insanely strong. And of course, Austria-Hungary is sphere New Zealand and Danzig and Bavaria, of course. Mexico is... This is probably one of the few campaigns where I've seen in Mexico become a great power and stay a great power, which is awesome. Scandinavia still exists. Japan is doing great as well. However, as you can see, Italy... Is not on the great powers list. They're secondary power. As well as France. France has just gone just after they were taken out one time. They just had revolt after revolt after revolt. And even Russia is a secondary power as well, which is just insane. But I do want to show off a few more demographics uh, things here. So let's take a look at culture. Usually I don't like a look at culture or I usually forget. It looks pretty much exactly the same as we left it earlier. Um, Flemish is about half here. Uh, actually, I do want to show you some more stuff as well. But 
A good chunk of our population is French, but we'll look at the, uh, the full demographics soon. Dunkirk itself is 16% Flemish, which is awesome, awesome, awesome. We didn't get through all the little vents here, which kind of sucks, but it's okay. Uh, yeah, not too bad. Poland has a lot of territory that's not actually Polish. Cool. But here's the world. Czechoslovakia doesn't exist, but the Czechs, the Slovaks, the Hungarians. Any place hungry sometimes. Hungary's not looking very good. Romania has a lot of territory, a lot of, you know, population outside its own borders. Uh, Serbia, Turkey is looking... Pretty Turkish Greece. Looking, did they? They must have lost Thrace or something, Macedonia or something. I can't remember, but huh. All right, anyways, uh, let's keep looking at the culture. I love the culture map mode. It's one of my favorite things about Victoria 2. If Victoria 3, if it ever comes out, has a, a culture map mode, I would love to have it so badly. Africa, just, just a giant mess. I mean, there's not much else for me to say about here about that, but um, it is what it is. Uh, actually, who owns some of this territory around here? Who? Scandinavia. That is very weird. But Russian Africa, of course, Liberia exists here too. Um, culture map mode. So I'm, I apologize. I just I'm kind of tired of this campaign at this point. I've been playing literally this episode for pro for probably about four hours. So I'm I'm just a little burned out from it. So it is what it is. And we have some British down here too. Look at that. Cool. Uh, not too much down here. Too much really to speak of. Uh, culture map mode. I really wanted to get some like Dutch people down here, but it just you usually won't get Dutch too many Dutch people down in your colonies, which kind of sucks. But it is what it is. Uh, anything over here? Not too much. Very few, almost like no Dutch people here. China, of course. Khmer, Vietnamese, Asian minor. China is... Well, China exploded. So, that's why I don't want to play as China. It is what it is. Let's see. Anything else? Australia's down here. I guess Austria-Hungary took this part as well. Australia does exist. They don't really like us, though. And neither does New Zealand. Actually, New Zealand likes us. But Australia does not, which is kind of weird. But yeah, not bad. Not bad overall. And I, I'm glad we got a care. Or I say, I, someone told me how to pronounce it, but I forget. But you know, it is what it is. What it is like I said before. Um, yeah, I forget how to say that. Oh, wow, holy crap! Ireland's been fairly well colonized by the British. Look at that! Holy cow! Forty percent British in some areas. Oh my goodness! That Irish will be a forgotten culture if we continue this campaign. I gotta play as a CSA someday. That looks. This is weird. There's a lot of Dixie in Ohio. How? Missouri makes sense. This is too Yankee for me. And there's a lot of Texans in. Arkansas. And two Phoenix, and there's quite a few Dixie soldiers down there, Dixie population. Mexico is looking pretty normally Mexican, which makes sense. Um, there's not that many guys down here, too. We do own little parts of, uh, oh, Surasau, or Lesser Antilles, is looking pretty good. Then we have this little t tiny piece of territory down here, too, with Central American and some Yankees. Is anyone assimilating down here? No. Uh, cool. I mean, I'm just taking a moment to look at all the assimilation that could happen. Uh, let's see. Let me go up to New York. It's 1%, 1%, Dutch, which is actually really cool. No one's assimilating. No one's assimilating. Uh, do we have... Is that Texan up there? Oh, that's kind of cool as well. Yankee, Dutch, Misery. No one's assimilating. Uh, actually, if you go to, like, Flanders. I'm still trying to increase fascist support up here, which never actually did anything, but whatever. D Minorities. North Germans, Misery. People converting it all. No, not really. Some people... Oh! The Germans are converting, slowly. North Germans are. Sudanese are not, which kind of sucks. Picard. Sometimes the Picards would actually assimilate as well. Assimilation in this game is just, it's very, very odd. Very, very weird and hard to achieve sometimes. Unless you're playing in the new world, which makes it easier, but not always a guarantee, so. But let's take a look at the population. So we have a total population. We ended with 337 million people in our, in our country, which is actually more than the current United States population, at least as of April 2021, probably. So I could be wrong about that, but... That's that's a lot of people. We're number one in the world, which is great. The vast majority of people are farmers, and then followed by laborers, and then some craftsmen. Uh, this is pretty much exactly what we saw at the beginning of the episode. Less than four percent of our entire population is Dutch, uh, Vietnamese, Dwey, a lot of Chinese people here, some Filipinos, North Germans, two point three percent, which is point one percent more than Flemish. Just it's been a it's been a campaign, man. I love Vicky too, but sometimes it just drags on for me personally. But we did get up to the dominant religion here, or the people who identify with the greatest. The greatest number of people who identify with religion is Protestant, followed by Sunni. So those flipped earlier. That's really good. Flipped from earlier. Most of the people like sense, uh, not sense, censored press, but they do like pacifism, which I can understand why, because we've been in like four great wars already. So, and actually, we got the fascist party to get up to 13% of the electoral vote, which is actually kind of cool. You know, they're 1.4% of the population. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it for us here. A lot of people are leaving our country right now. Um, eight to 1700 to be exact. But they're all actually going across the entire area so if we were to continue playing um we could see a lot more probably assimilation actually happening because a 1300 people are coming to brussels which is awesome 
200 people come, are coming to Amsterdam as well, so I love what's going on here, but I'm not sure what else to show you guys. Uh, Civilization, Administration, Map Mode, it's not great. I've been trying to get a beer cuts in here too. It's been barely going up though, which sucks, but it is what it is. Uh, Colonial Map Modes, I think we did fairly overall just great. We ended up top dog, which is basically what I wanted, and have a great mighty Dutch Empire. But, if, if I miss anything, please let me know so whenever I, so I don't miss things in the future, especially for showing you what the world is like at the end of this. So, it is what it is, and we end up with a Liberal Party, which is kind of okay. Even though they're holding elections. But, you know what? I think we're going to have to end it here. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. And I will see you tomorrow in another video. Thanks for watching. Have a great, great rest of your day.